Well, uh, hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate QuickBooks with WooCommerce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at quickbooks.com or we have to log in to our existing account. Once we do that, let's go to the left part of our screen and click the last option in your sidebar, which is apps. Now, uh, in this searching for apps, we can uh, write down WooCommerce by one size. If you're satisfied with uh, uh, this uh, version of WooCommerce, you can just get an app and uh, yeah, your integration is pretty much solidly done. We can also use automate.eo, which is an uh, application for integrations. I'll leave the link in the description underneath this video. And once we are here, let's jump uh, straight to the top corner of our screen to integrations. And then to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Now we can search from 200 and more apps, but let's start and write down QuickBooks. As you can see, there are QuickBooks and on the opposite side, we can go with WooCommerce. We are starting to make this integration happen. So as you can see, there are popular integrations, but if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, keep scrolling down and you get to create your own integration option. Just remember on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to start with QuickBooks first. So start with like a new bill till a new vendor. It's completely up to you. Pick the one that you will need or that you will use. On the right side, on the other hand, underneath the actions, You want to go and scroll down till you get to WooCommerce. As you can see, also tons of options. I bet that you will find one that you are looking for. Then you just have to click on Try It Now button. You'll get redirected to the website and you'll be uh, asked to log in. Now you can also achieve this uh, through Zapier, which is also a very, very uh, nice app for for integrations and once you're here uh, let's go to the top left corner and create a zap as you can see it works quite the same underneath the trigger you want to start with quickbooks online trigger event let's stick to the first one we hit continue now we have to log into the account that we created just for this reason continue and now we can test our trigger on the second action, you, as you probably guessed, you want to write down WooCommerce. Action event, also pick the one. I'm sticking with the first one. We hit continue. And the last thing is you just have to sign into WooCommerce and you are done. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.